a botched pile driver off the second row. Ah, you say that. You say it was a botch, but mm-hmm. I think <laughs> I think Mr. Blanchard over here was like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> and he just <laughs> uh, folded himself. Because you want that, me to he, what? Oh yeah, because if you watch, if you watch closely, he didn't slip or anything. He just went down. He just went, Nope, mm-hmm. not doing that. I am not doing yeah. a pile driver from the fucking turnbuckle onto a chair. <laughs> I'm fifty goddamn years old. Get me. <laughs> Out of here. <laughs> Let's like, go. Terry home. Funk, you're a madman. I'm not having this. And uh <laughs> the 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 rumor uh from the insiders of the time was uh Funk was supposed to win this match just in case he had to go later and to mm-hmm. build him up for a world title match. But uh Mr. Tully Blanchard was like, I'm not fucking jobbing for this old man. <laughs> of course not. Who would do that? So that was uh that was why this match went to uh double a schmoz you in which of course the fans were less than pleased <laughs> hey it was a hot branding iron so you know it was hot it's hot branding iron of course but- <laughs> absolutely that's why you choke someone with it <laughs> exactly that's why you just grab it with your hands and don't scream i did get a kick out of terry funk uh elbow dropping and junkyard dog headbutting a straw hat that he took from a fan <laughs> after the match in his fury. <laughs> God, that's what I do when I'm mad. I go find a random fedora and headbutt it and bite it on the ground. Absolutely. I mean, that's what a normal person would do. <laughs> what an unhinged motherfucker this Terry Funk is. 